where I'm going to break down a little bit further some of the things that happen on my lesson T. And, and one of the concepts and the question that I get a lot is, do you lengthen out backswings more than you shorten them, right? And, and I think the answer to that, if you were just to ask that to a casual golfer or fan, they would probably say, well, I need to shorten my backswing, if anything. And the reality is, is when you start getting into instruction and really working with people, lengthening them out is really the answer to that question. But how you lengthen them out using their body, arms, and hands is really uh, the question. Now, this particular student that I had, he would take it back and his backswing would stop about right here. And I see this uh, a lot with players who don't play a lot. Um, as we get older, we lose range of motion. And it's really easy to get very short and condensed in your backswing. And of course, we lose a lot of speed when we do that. And, you know, I would say you start to lose some of the accuracy as well. And the reason is because the swing can start to get very up and down, right? We just kind of start using our arms and we just start getting very steep on it. Another example that we see in the, with this particular player is you'll start seeing the club head kind of get inside. The club head will kind of dip inside early like this. And then from there, the body will shut down and the arms just start to lift it. And then we start coming over the top like that. So there's a lot of scenarios, but lengthening out the backswing the right way is what I worked on with this particular player. So how do we do that? Well, the first, and I talk about this a lot, is learning to turn this right leg better, this right hip rather better, getting this right hip to open up this way, up and back. And to do that, we've got to change some knee flaps. We've got to get this right knee to start to straighten up. And if you look from this view here, you'll start to see some space open up in between my knees, right? Some space in there. If I keep that knee flex, you'll, you won't see anything. If I keep that knee flex, it really tightens up this hip. If we lose flexibility, we get older, we're trying to lengthen this out and maximize, I think opening up this hip, losing flexion in this right knee is a good thing. Feel your right hip, your trail hip, work up and back this way. Your right hip, will be higher than your left hip. Get some space in there, that's key. The second thing is, is getting some extension in the spine. This particular player, we really got the right hip working and we got the spine to open up a little bit this way, extend back. If I was standing here like this, this would be flexion. This would be extension, okay? I go back to what he was doing, keeping the right knee flexed, that's gonna keep his spine down in flexion, and that's all I got. That's it. So if I was to hit a shot like that, keep the knee flex, keep the spine down in flexion, I mean, you'll, you'll feel like you gotta put the brakes on early and then go. So that can really turn into this up and down, choppy looking swing where you're not turning at all. And then of course you put any cold weather on that, wind, difficult conditions and it can get very condensed. So we're trying to lengthen it up. We're using the right leg. We're gonna extend the spine. Now watch, here goes the trail leg. Here goes the extension of the spine. You can really see me kind of elongating up. Many players, including this particular guy, felt like he was getting taller. He felt like he was extending and getting taller. And what I told him is that that's okay you should feel like you're getting taller, as long as you keep your shoulders oriented this way, just like your hips. So the left shoulder is lower than the right, just like the left shoulder is lower, so the left hip's lower than the right hip, okay? So we wouldn't do this. We wouldn't go where everything levels out, then you would be getting taller. You've got to keep your orientation to the ball, right leg, spine. Now look where I'm at. My hands are above my right shoulder, where before they were below. The other thing this offers when you lengthen out the backswing is it offers the ability to get some depth. And depth is this way, okay? When I turn the right hip, extend the spine, look at my lead arm, it can work around me better this way, deeper. 
this would be a lack of depth. Okay? There's depth. So I lengthen it out by my hands kind of going up higher, but also creating more depth this way through the right leg, through the spine. So work on those individually. Work on those individually. Okay? And then put the two together with the club, do it at home, and then you'll go to the range or the golf course and start lengthening it out. And this is something, believe it or not, this is something that I work on in my swing. I have a tendency to get very passive in my lower. In fact, that's the way I was taught to play when I was younger. Keep the lower body still and turn the upper. Okay? So I'm always trying to get the engine working here. Right leg, turning the hip. Give me some length in the spine. Let this thing work around me more. And then from there, I've got more power and I've got more time to deliver the club face back into the impact zone. The last thing I'll say to this, as you're working on the right leg and as you're working on the spine, and with this gentleman here, what we were working on on the range, TF Live, thanks for joining us. We're gonna be doing a lot more of these on YouTube. In-depth analysis of real lessons. Last thing I'll say is just make sure that you get a little bit of pressure moving into your right leg. Look at my belt buckle. I like just a little trace to the right heel and then lengthen it up. All right, don't hang left. All right, don't hang left. Get a little trace to the right, then lengthen it up. And you will have more power and more time to deliver the club bit. Yeah, that felt pretty good. Right there, get on the green. Just like that, I think that's gonna help. I give this lesson all the time to people, how to lengthen it out to the top of the swing. Irons, hybrids, ferrowoods, woods, driver, it's all the same stuff. Good luck.